Hi everyone, I'm Ann here from Ann Makes. Welcome to my channel, welcome to my studio. Thanks for stopping by. I have a Dollarama haul to share with you. Dollarama, a Canadian chain of dollar stores. The items range you know, between one and four dollars. And I will do my best to remember the prices because now it's a little harder to do that since they don't always put the prices of the items on the item. I may have to refer to the receipt a few times and um, they also, what they do now is they put a lot of their prices on the shelves. So I can understand because it kind of saves on using those darn stickers. So it does save on employee time also. And uh, so I, I kind of understand that makes it more of a, more, streamlines the process, I guess, for them. So without further ado, the first thing I want to show you, and I think this is such a good deal, such a good find. Uh, this first time I've seen this at any Dollarama that I've been to, but maybe you've seen it. So where they have all the vases and the plant pots and stuff for, you know, uh, not the seasonal garden, not, not the seasonal gardening stuff, but the area where they they have the vases and they have um, like candles and things like that. Well, they have this. Now this is a very big glass vase. It's huge. Look at look how big this is. Okay. And there's a little cover here. I think it's just so dirt doesn't get in. And it is an anchor product, A-N-C-H-O-R. So this is, this is a brand name. And it is an aquatic garden vase. Okay, you're gonna say, well, it's a vase. Yes, it's a vase, it could be just a vase vase. But there's a little pamphlet that comes inside with instructions on how to set up your own little aquatic garden vase. So you, uh, I haven't read it yet, but I'm assuming it, it explains to you how, you know, you could put the, the gravel and uh, you could get a little betta fish. This is a betta fish, and I know those little fish are usually uh, pretty, pretty sturdy little fish, and they tend to live a long time, and I think they don't need a lot of maintenance or something like that. So uh, I've heard about these, and uh, I often wanted to get one. And of course I have a cat, so I don't know if this will be a very good idea, but I thought it would be so entertaining to watch her watch the fish. So uh, if I do get a fish, uh, I will show that to you. But I thought this, if I don't do this for myself, this is such a great gift. And what a deal at $4, yeah, four bucks, four. Uh, and so usually with their, they show a plant here at the top and the roots are dangling in the water and the little fish swimming there. So that's what they call an aquatic garden vase. And I know that I saw this uh, several years ago in a Joann's and let me tell you, they were a lot more than four Canadian dollars. So uh, I think this is a really good deal. I think this would also make a really beautiful housewarming present for someone even if you don't give them a fish but you know if you do give them a fish you put it in here I just think it's a it's a really great deal so I was very excited to find that and I wanted to share that with you now the other thing that I found a Dollarama um, and this is not something that's new but it is something that we need and I do think it's practical to have is the Medicare hot cold had these are three dollars a dollarama so they're the ones with the little beads inside so you can stick this in the freezer for half an hour or you i think you can warm this up too um so you know for for aches and pains and uh yeah so i know we've we buy these off and on um you know we we had some and they, they get used up over time they wear out or they get lost and stuff so i just got another one because we were due for a new one so i got that in the and this wasn't where they have all the health and beauty stuff and the other thing i picked up in the health and beauty aisle was this lipstick 
uh, Wet n Wild. You know I don't wear a lot of makeup, but I do have a lipstick that I wear and I really like the color of it. It's not a Wet n Wild, it's actually a New York Colors. I just have not seen it again. And because I really like the color, I'm trying to get a second one that is as close to it as possible uh, because I really like it. And I would like to have two. So I could have one in my purse and one to leave at home. So the Wet n Wild, if I believe these are $1.50, and I remember correctly, the Wet n Wild lipstick at Dollarama is $1.50. I bought a few of these pouches of the French's barbecue sauce, and the other pouches are probably in my other bag. And these are still uh, two for a dollar twenty-five, if I'm not mistaken. So these are basically sixty-three cents each. This is what they they go for at uh, at the cash register. So they're on the on the shelf. It says two for a dollar twenty-five, but when you buy these, uh, they're sixty-three cents a piece. So that's a very good price for these pouches. And I picked up a tube of toothpaste, uh, the Pro Sensitive Effective Relief Whitening with Baking Soda, Origel Arm & Hammer, just uh, toothpaste that everybody in my family seems to like to use. Uh, this is uh, $2. In the craft supply aisle, I saw these rolls of trim, the decorative trim that looks like a little vine. And I love this. I have already used some in a project. You can see that project, actually, it's on my blog at annemakes.blogspot.com. And I did make a vine with it and they ha it with paper flowers that I made with the Cricut. So, and uh, I, I love this. I love using this. So when I saw this at this Dollarama, I picked up every roll they had left. Sorry, because I do use it a lot in my projects, so I got got a lot of that. And I picked up one roll of this butterfly ribbon, and there's tons of butterfly ribbons, different colors of butterflies, uh, different colors of ribbon with butterflies on them, and I chose this one. I saw this, and it had a very, to me, a very, like, artsy, Tim Holtz, vintage type of look to it. And that's exactly uh, what I why I bought it because of the the look, the vintage look, and it's going to go with my other vintage looking uh, art supplies for my art making. Also in the craft uh, supply aisle, I saw the Philo Fun. Now there, these are like uh, plastic. Is that what they are? Glitter strands, forty glitter strands, uh, and they're pretty colors and they're full of glitter and I know these are intended for kids crafting for braiding making little crafts and stuff and I thought I don't I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with this but something inside me said pick take this because um I just I was just thinking there's something I could do with this that probably I could make some like little butterflies or fairy wings that would sparkle and then it got me thinking fairy garden and anyway i'm not sure exactly where i'm going with this but uh yeah it's just something creative to do with this and these are so these are a dollar 25 for the 40. so craft supply at a dollar 25 that's pretty good i challenge you to go to walmart and pay less I also saw the small beads in these like little test tubes. I have a ton of beads already, but I selected these especially for the colors and because of the size of the tubes, which makes them extremely portable for my on the go projects. And this, I like this selection a lot because there is black, gold, silver, and uh, copper color. So, and, and they, here, these are colors that I would use in some projects. And like I said, I find these portable, so I can take these on the go for some uh, projects that I have. Sometimes I have to bring kits because I will be teaching a make and take, and I'm traveling, and I just, I just need convenient uh, packaging to bring stuff along. It's not always uh, fun for me to put a thousand little beads in little Ziploc bags, uh, and this might be a good solution to that. I got those. 
Oh, and I saw these little glass bottles. I had seen other people haul these and I thought they were really cute. And uh, I thought, well, what's the big deal? You know, I could do this. I do already have some empty glass bottles, so I could probably duplicate something similar to this. But what it, they are, they're these little glass bottles with the cork. It's like a, a message in a bottle, basically. And there's like a little roll of paper wrapped up with a, a thin little gold cord there. <laughs> Snowball, what you doing? Yeah, the snowballs in the bag. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, message, it is message in a bottle, so in a tiny bottle. So you get, but this is pretty good. You get nine of these, they're all, all made, ready to uh, give us little party favors or gifts. And they're $1.25, so good thing. Now I'm not one, I'm, you know, I, I buy candles occasionally. I'm not one to buy a lot of candles, mainly because of my assistant, which is, you can't see her, I think. Can you see her? Is she coming? Oh yeah, oh, she saw the, the, the tramp. Look at that, she's playing with something. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there she is. There's Snowball. She is, she is playing with the rolls of trim that I have over there. So, uh, what was I saying? Oh, I'm not one to always get excited about buying candles, and it's rare that I find one that I like. But this one, I almost bought more, but I said, no, I'll just buy one. I'll, I'll be good. This is, uh, I think it's new. It's uh, a Watson's candle, and it has this, it's actually a peelable paper wrap around this, this glass votive, and it is cactus scent and oh my goodness this smells better than the actual cactus I have to say because I I, can't, I was in the desert this winter and I was surrounded by cactus and I could smell and you know they, they do smell nice but um, oh this is this smells so so nice so I came home with this candle and I I hope this one Will be safe yeah usually these little candles are safe to use around my assistant there she's not interested in uh playing with fire usually but she does knock over tall candles so at least this is harder for her to knock over and this is a dollar fifty i really i would have paid more than dollar fifty just because it smells so good now i've seen people haul a similar signs as the ones I'm about to show you but these spoke to me and this is the one I that spoke to me first when I, I saw this I was like yep it says do it because they said you couldn't the story of my life I tell you how much this is true for me and yeah I, yeah, I, I should have, you know, if I could make a necklace out of this, you know, and walk around with it. Yeah. Do it because they said you couldn't. Um, $1.25 for this. Yes, it's definitely something I could make myself, but I hadn't thought about it. So Dollarama beat me to it and I bought it from them. Now, the other thing I saw, I was like, yep, this is me. This is how I was feeling this week. It's been crazy. I work in, yeah, I work in the craft industry, but I also am a social media manager. And I don't know if you're aware, but it's been crazy in the social media world. You may have heard of the Facebook scandal and all that. So. It's just been a nightmare for me this week for dealing with, ah, uh, anyway. So this sign also reminded me of when I'm being a mom. And well, here, I'll just show it to you. Out of my mind, back in five minutes. Yes, this is going to go on my desk or in my, the front of my door of my office here. Yeah, this is me, out of my, 
I need five minutes. <laughs> yeah, I've had this feeling a lot this week. So I got those, and like I said before, these are each $1.25. Now, the other thing I found at Dollarama, and I was so excited and so pleased about it, is da, 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 the kitty pin. They had these nice little brooches. They had owls and fish, and they had, and I know those of you who like owls will probably not be disappointed if you go to Dollarama and you see them. But look, it's a kitty. Look how cute that is. I love it. And she is, I'm saying she, is $2.50. Okay? I don't wear a lot of brooches, but this one, that one was coming home with me. So, I bought myself some jewelry, some bling. Okay? And I love it. $2.50 for this cute cat pin or brooch. Now, the reason I went to Dollarama was to get Snowball her her disposable kitty litters because I'm traveling again next week. So make life easier on everybody else. I got disposable cat litters. Okay, so, uh, I saw Crafty Kitty. She hauled something, I think it was this one, this uh, wall sticker that imitates uh, a woven basket. And I was like, oh, I have got to get that. Because I thought, and that's what she was, she said it. She said, I thought of it. I, I was always thinking it. She was saying it in her video that, you know, oh, you could cover like a box with this and, you know, make like a, a basket. I'm like, yeah, you could take like a regular cheap cardboard box and just cover this up. And you have a pretty box for your, you know, organizing your craft stuff or anything yes you could put it on the wall too like they do here it's like it's like a wallpaper it's a self-adhesive and you get a it's one sheet that measures 17.7 so it's 17 feet yeah it's 17.7 feet no 17 sorry <laughs> it would be bigger it's 17.7 .7 inches by 35.4 inches or 45 centimeters by 90 centimeters <laughs> so yeah it's not bad uh well you know this is sold as wall decor and this is where i found it in the the same aisle where the dollarama that i go to uh has the sort of home decor stuff it's not a big section and usually and they also have in that same section across from there they have like the paint trays the paint roller trays so that's where i got this and so i got they had this pattern so i got one like this and the other one is this another basket weave pattern looks really good and this uh faux wood pattern so these are these are all two dollars a piece and well since i'm so you know crafty and diy that's I said. I know I'm gonna reuse this sometime, so uh, definitely uh, will reuse. I have covered cardboard boxes with uh, faux wood self adhesive vinyl in the past uh, for storage in my craft room, and you know this will I'll probably do the same thing again uh, in this room. So now, oh, the other thing. So the other thing I picked up in the home decor is a cinema light box. And this one is going out to my friend who wasn't able to find them. And I told her if I saw another one, I would get you one. So I did, Ooh, you know who you are. Uh, and this will be uh, mailed out to you, uh, probably not today. I don't think I'll get into the post office in time before it closes, but uh, yeah, it's, it's going out to you very soon with some other stuff, so. Be on the lookout for that. You know who you are, crafty chair. <laughs> so I got this uh, cinema light box. It is $4. I am currently using one for uh, announcing to my family and anybody else that's here that I am filming. So do not open the doors or come bother me. And it's working. 
I see it. it's right there on my island across from me here. It's facing the glass window door thing there. And uh, they can see it so they know, oh, don't bother mom right now. Yay! Now, if you are into art making, if you're an artist or you are a hobbyist crafter, uh, dollar stores are wonderful for finding inexpensive art supplies. And do not think that you are not getting quality. Sometimes you do get quality. Sometimes you get, you get crap, but there is a lot of quality stuff to be had there. And one of the items that I find very worthwhile buying uh, at a Dollarama is their artist panels. Now these are 100% wood. They are really nice. I'll show you the back. They even make sh shadow boxes. You can even turn this into a shallow shadow box or a tray if you want. But they are uh, sold as artist panels because artists do use these to create art on. And a big panel like this, which measures 12 by 16 inches, so it's a very nice size, scales for $4 at Dollarama. Now, I know a lot of people say, oh, $4, Dollarama is not cheap. Oh, this is cheap, okay? Uh, if you don't believe me, go to an art supply store and price panels. Uh, you'll see they're, they're not cheap. And often you will find these panels if you go to some of the uh, art supply stores in um, like uh, Mer de Serre or Michaels. Some of, I've seen some that are half the size and they were at least $50. So this is really, really good. So I got three of them and now I'm thinking I should have bought more. And these are excellent for painting on. They are excellent for um, mixed media, of course. And they are great if you are into pouring, whether you're into the acrylic pouring or the enamel. Uh, I have used this for enamel pouring to create cells. And, the, and this is perfect because it keeps the, all the, the gooey paints from dripping out and that is you can do it on this side or you can do it on this side uh, it's fun to do it on either side so these are great i do buy canvases there and i buy my canvas uh, between uh, different stores i will stock up wherever they have a good price so if one su art supply store or or one craft supply store is having a sale and they are good and uh, I you know I don't already have some uh, I will go and stock up I will take advantage of that sale and I also compare with the dollar stores so that's why I'm telling you about this uh, the other thing I saw at Dollarama and I thought was was very decent are these burlap canvases so these little burlap canvases they're just a different kind of burlap i've seen a lot of people work on these they've done all sorts of uh thread work even embroidery or you know just they tend to they choose the this canvas not so it can be completely covered with paint but because they want the beauty of the uh the natural look the natural look of the canvas to to come through on their projects so this is a dollar twenty-five. Yeah, so this is a burlap jute canvas. So it's not it's not a primed white it's not a primed white canvas like another canvas that you would buy. It is jute. So it will react totally it will totally react differently to uh wet mediums. So just so you know, but it's uh, it's very pretty. Dollar twenty-five, and these are nine point eight by seven point eight. Yeah, nine point eight by seven point eight. So it's a nice, nice size to work with. Yes, yeah, something else for my uh, crafting and art making is another one of these Duramax utility boxes. I already have several of these, and I wanted another. I I haven't bought one of these in a long time because I had several but I recently did some cleaning and 
I have a stash of supplies. They're, they're all metal. I put all my metal embellishments in these, the bigger metal embellishments, the heavy ones especially, uh, the ones that are like really clunky and stuff. I tend to put them in these boxes. I really like them for the, I really like these boxes for that. And these are $3. And I did see, I think it was Sandy uh, who uh, repurposed one of these with some spray paint and made them really pretty. And uh, I don't know if I'll bother to do that because I, like I said, I don't mind the color of these because they're for holding like metal and rusty things. So that's fine. With me. Yes, rusty things. I know. I'm artsy. So my sons were asking for uh, crunchy tacos because lately we've been eating soft tacos and it's like, oh, it'd be nice to have some crunchy ones. So they saw these at Dollarama and a box of these. There's 10 in here. So you get 10 of the uh, Old El Paso crunchy taco shells, the ones that are flat on the bottom that stand up for $2. And oh, this is new at Dollarama, and I just thought the packaging was was funny. And uh, these are fresh; they say they're fresh ramen noodles, so they're not—they're basically not dry. And uh, I have a son who just loves to eat ramen noodles, snacks on these, and so I buy the little sachet ones with you know the broths and stuff. Uh, but I also like the ramen noodles, but I don't like the salt in them. So I thought we would give these a try one day that we're, we're in the mood for a bowl of noodles and uh, then he can and he's always adding stuff to the noodles that he makes so he as he makes his own uh, and you know so but like I thought the packaging was really cute so yeah and oh this big bag there's a lot of ramen noodles in here is uh, two dollars it's pretty heavy got that oh now this was with the beauty and makeup stuff. Uh, this is supposed to be a cast iron. Oh, I lost, there was a little cardboard that explained what it was. Uh, soap dish, it is really heavy. And I got this because I thought this would look adorable in my kitchen because I love chickens and roosters and de I decorate. I don't have them running around, but I do ha decorate in uh, with chickens and roosters in my kitchen. I always have. I just really like them. And so I just thought this would look really, really pretty in there. And uh, I like to use soap and a pump, so but I thought this would be a good place to put like the sponge so it dries because it has holes and stuff. So this is what I'll be using it for. And like I said, it's heavy. I picked up, also in the health and beauty aisle section, I got a nail polish touch-up pen for a $1.50. I'll be bringing this with me on my trip next week uh, with that little bottle of nail polish I showed you because I will have a quick nail job to do and then I will probably and I will probably need to fix it and and then I'll probably need to take everything off because I know I will be uh working with my hands a lot next week I'll be making stuff crafting arting whatever so I know my nails my fake nails won't last now in the same section that is the health beauty aisle and they have all the hair accessories. I was looking for something on purpose uh, for putting in my hair next week. I have an event. I've already mentioned this in the previous video. I was looking for cupcake or candy sweet treat themed things so I could go for this event that I'm going to. And I found these hair ties that were meant for kids. But these are supposed, they look candy. See, they're like wrapped candy. And there was this pink one and the white one. So I thought I could use, I could use these. I could maybe tie my hair up depending on how I want to wear my hair that evening. And it, it's not a fancy thing. It's a kind of casual event. Um, or maybe I could, you know, make a bracelet out of these. I don't know. Just thought these would be appropriate for my dessert first uh opening event at my conference next week and 
And what else? Oh, I got these for me because I love these. I'm the only one in my family. No, no, that's not true. My husband does like them. But he'll eat a whole bag in one sitting. And I'm actually pretty good about it. I'll eat one or two rice cakes with my cup of tea in the afternoon. That is my treat. And since there's only 70 calories in each one, I don't feel so bad. And they are rice cakes, so they're kind of healthy. <laughs> and you get these for $1.25 at Dollarama. And there are six rice cakes in here. Yes, my husband uh, always compares rice cakes to coasters. But these have chocolate, so they're yummy. Now, uh, I stocked up on some uh, candy that we find here in Canada, but that my friends in the U.S. do not find, do not have in their stores, because I am visiting them next week, and I will, I'm going down there loaded with maple syrup candy and Canadian chocolates. So I am bringing some Smarties, the 10 pack here, some Aero chocolates, another 10 pack, some Coffee Crisp, 10 pack again, and another 10 pack of the Kit Kat. So I will have an assortment of chocolates in addition to my other candies with those loot bags that I showed uh, early in from Dollar Tree in another video. And you know, my business card and all that. And that is how I sweeten uh, the meetings. So I, I will have those with me. And these packages of treats, uh, I can't remember how much they are and I buy these all the time. So uh, each one of these packages is $2, so, but I just like the size, the convenience of throwing them in my suitcase, and away we go. Now, finally, the last thing I have to show you is new to me. There's three items I have to show you uh, at uh, Dollarama, and I was pretty excited about these. Uh, they are with the... Um, like office supplies, the pens, the crayons, uh, the dollar ramas I go to here have like the craft supplies in one aisle and at the other end of the store they have another aisle where they have the pens and the office supplies. So it, and that, but I know I've been to dollar ramas where that's in the same aisle. So anyway, but that's how it, that's where I found these with all the other colored pencils and such. So these are new. These are Hillroy, and you get 12 of these double-ended coloring pencils. So basically you have um, 24 colors because each end has a different color. So, and it comes in this really nice case, that uh, portable case that is bendable. And if I remember, no, I'm not even going to guess now. So I got these uh, Hillroy double-ended two-color pencils. So there's actually 24 colors in this kit, in this nice portable kit. And I can't wait to try these out to see how they work. And I, to me, this is awesome for, again, for my travels because then I'm able to bring more colors in less space. And this case will keep them in good shape. Now they're probably they're not the highest quality. They're not artist quality pencils. They are probably student grade. But I haven't tried them yet, so I could be surprised. And uh, but I just thought the the portability of it and the, the convenience of it was worth it. And it was three dollars for this. Now the other coloring pencils that they had and are that are new at Dollarama are the Stadler ones. They are 12 colors. Now I am looking forward to testing these out as well because it says that they have brilliant colors and are soft and blendable. Now they do not claim to be of artist quality or anything like that but they do have this claim that they have brilliant colors that are Blend, easily blendable and I just thought they, they're a little different they seem to be of a dark wood and I don't know if they do that just to make the colors look brighter or if they actually are brighter so I will be uh, testing these and if you want 
me to post a video of a review of them, uh, I can do that. Just let me know in the comments. And another new item, um, intent again for coloring and you know uh, planning for people who like to plan, uh, are these Papermate flares, Papermate flare pens. These are quite popular in the planner community. And these are new colors. So these are not found in the usual set of the pilot flares, uh, the, the pilot, not, sorry, wrong. These are not usually found in the paper mare, paper mate flare collection uh, of pens. And this says it's a limited edition pack, uh, felt tip pens. These are the medium point in candy pop. Candy Pop. So uh, I look forward to trying these as well. That, my friends, concludes my Dollarama haul for the week. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, yeah, so if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Please like, comment, share. Don't forget to subscribe and stay crafty. And I'll see you after the next video. Bye.